You know what? Sometimes you just get inspired to make a video. I woke up this morning. First thing I see is notifications on my phone. A comment? A new subscriber? Girl, I'm inspired. I'm feeling the love. You gotta make the video when the inspiration strikes and girl, it has struck. Stricken. Maybe if I read more books, I would actually understand language. Yeah, I'm still in bed. I was serious when I said I'd just woken up. Everything is in the background because I've moved. I haven't unpacked. I haven't unpacked my backs. <laughs> I haven't unpacked my boxes yet, which is gonna be my excuse three years later when I have boxes everywhere. I just moved. What? 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 What are we doing? The mid-year book. Book. Book freak out tag. Let me just go on Books and Lala because she honestly, she's the one that has her shit together. I know I can trust her. <laughs> Mid year book freak out tag. Oh god, it's 13 qu 13 qu Okay, whatever. We'll do it. We'll do it. I've committed. I've committed now. I thought it would be really funny to do this tag because every person you see who has done this video, they're always just like, they're always like, I'm here to do my make your book freak out tag. I've actually done poorly this year. I read 593 books. Oh, actually, that's a lie. I read 594. I just read one two seconds ago. And then I'm over here, like... <laughs> I read negative two in the past ten years. Again, I'm gonna have an excuse and say this was my last year of school. <laughs> Holy shit. The second, you know, winter, spring semester of school was in. I feel like I was in a constant state of uh, stress. Yeah, I had my exams in May and that took like a full month to study for so I straight up did not read anything then. Okay, oh yeah, alright, alright. Words going pretty well. 11 books completed. That is less than the questions. First question is best book you've read so far in 2018? Oh, I can totally do that. Yeah. That question I can answer. I've read some pretty good ones, actually. I would say... Okay, I was gonna show this book. This was like the one book I didn't borrow from the library. <laughs> I could turn into a true booktuber and hold it up next to me while I'm talking. I loved it. Boop, boop, boop. That book is in a box somewhere, and even if it wasn't even a box, even if it was one meter away from me, I'm really comfortable where I'm sitting, and I don't want to spend up to get that. I'm gonna say Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I read that over Christmas break. I loved it so much, girl. I related to the main character so much. I've never read a book before where I actually see myself in the main character and can relate personally to me. I, I've never experienced that before and this was the first time I did. I was just so much more kind of personally invested in the story rather than just coming in from a point of interest. Okay, number two. Best sequel you've read so far in 2018. Have I even read a sequel in 2018? Hell yes I have. Oh hell yeah. I read two sequels and both sequels were just Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Firstly, I read Glass Sword, which is a sequel in the Red Queen Quartet. Is that what it's called when it's four books in the series? Girl, I don't know. I don't know. And then I also read the Summer I Turned Pretty series, just because I was feeling like summer romance, you know, YA. I was trying to live that life. And that means that the other second book in the series I read was will always have summer. So like I have a choice between a bad second book from a good series that I like or a bad second book from a series and it's bad just because the series is bad. It breaks my heart to say that we'll always have summer is gonna make my pick for this question because I just I thought Glass Sword was so boring. All right, new release you haven't read yet but want to. Ooh, I don't know if I have any of those honestly. I don't keep up to date very much on whatever is coming out. Honestly, I can't even answer this. It's actually because I don't buy books a lot of times. I only buy books after I borrow them from a library and know that I like them. So let's just move on to number four. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year. I don't. I can't answer this either. I don't know what. It's coming out. Why is this tag trying to shame me so bad? Number five, biggest disappointment. Yes, I can answer this one. Disappointment, that's my way of life. Biggest disappointment, that means something I had high hopes for but then really let me down. Uh, I would say Bird Box by, who's this boy? Josh Mallerman, sure girl. Bird Box was, it was pretty good. I flew through it really interesting I kept wanting it to push it a little further and it never never kind of went to the place I wanted it to go to 
Should I be describing these books as I'm going along? It's like people understand what I'm talking about. Okay, let's just do it. Turtle all the way down. This girl, she's trying to help her friend find a dead guy, I think. And she's got some like personal issues herself. That's as much as I can really remember from it. What was the second one I mentioned? Glass Sword. Second book in Red Queen Quartet. Reds and Silvers fighting each other. Shit. Reds are people with red blood. Silvers are people with silver blood. Silver people think they're better because they got powers. And it's a revolution now. We'll always have summer. Not even gonna describe it. Shit. Don't read it. It's shit. <laughs> bird box you go crazy and you kill people around you before you kill yourself so now people can't look outside it's insane it was good you know but it wasn't i didn't freak out over it okay number six biggest surprise Ooh, let's do it nothing really surprised me i guess i was surprised by turtles all the way down and how much i related to it i guess that surprised me the most yeah Number seven, favorite new author, debut or new to you. Oh, okay, I get this. I would say Maggie Steve Otter, who wrote The Raven Boys. I read the first book of The Raven Boys. Again, is it called a quartet? Girl, I don't know. I'm gonna keep calling them a quartet because I like the sound of it. It's like, ooh, string instruments. Yeah, I adored her writing style. I thought it was so beautiful. There's so many lines in there that I honestly, I kind of wanted to highlight, but I couldn't because again, it was a library read. So now I actually know that I want to buy that book so I can put it on my beautiful favorites bookshelf, which is my only bookshelf. I don't even have a bookshelf. I keep my books in a box. Newest fictional crush is question number eight. Uh, no one. I don't really, when I'm reading, I kind of just read the story for what it is, if that makes sense. Number nine, newest favorite character. Who do I love? Who, who, who do I love? You know what I would say from the Red Queen Quartet? I love Maven. I just think he's really interesting to read about. Every scene he's in is just interesting and I enjoy it and his whole power hungry scheming and it's just very interesting to me. Number <laughs> number 10 books that made you cry. I could look at the books I read in the past 10 years and I don't think I'd be able to find that. Books don't make me cry really. When I watch movies they don't really make me cry either. I feel the emotions from it but not to the degree where I start crying which I'm kind of happy about because that would make it more difficult to read. Number 11 book that made you happy. I can do this. Oh you know what that made me happy was the book of tomorrow but by Cecilia Ahern, which I'm gonna describe it for you. I'm a real booktuber, I know what I'm doing. This book is about this girl. She's, <laughs> there was this Twitter trend I remember seeing once where people described movies poorly. And it was just so funny, I wanna do a video like that about books but the descriptions of the book will be awful, not because I try to make them, but just because that's how bad I am about describing them. So the book of tomorrow is about a girl, she's rich, then her dad gets into some squabbles and kills himself. Now she's no longer rich, goes to live with her aunt and uncle and finds a magical book that tells her what's happening the next day. Kind of. I've read it about three or four times in my teenage years. I've been reading it since I've been about 13, so it's super nostalgic for me at this point. And because of that, just whenever I read it, I get really happy. I'm just like, mm, the book I've been reading all these years and just makes me happy. Number 12, most beautiful book you've bought so far this year or received. Turtles All the Way Down has a pretty cool cover, so I guess we'll just say that. Number 13, oh, we're at the end. I've been filming for, oh, 22 minutes. Thank God, I'm hungry. Number 13, what books do you need to read by the end of the year? Is there anything I specifically want to read before the end of the year? You know what? I can't, I can't be bothered to look for it. Let's just say The Hobbit, because that's the first book I saw right now. Jesus. Okay. Um, ta-da! <sighs> oh, the little puppy. The little puppy. Oh! I'm just going to end this right here. Okay. Okay.